Where did you get your extensive horticultural green thumb? I mean, you were a crane operator. Yeah, I don't know. I put stuff in and if it doesn't work and dies, I take it out and put something else in. So not very complicated. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's not rocket science. I had no idea what he was going to do. I just knew I wanted three spears, which is what they did. I sat here for months trying to figure out what you're going to do. <laughs> it looks nothing. Like it's what nothing you envisioned? Like what I envisioned. But it's good, right? Oh, I love it. And you said that's where you take your afternoon naps in retirement and uh, it's... About right there. <laughs> Just enhanced my afternoon napping experience by half hour. <laughs> there you go. It was the end of December, like December 19th, I think they put this in, for Hot Tub Tony's. Just a fountainscape right at the entrance to his place. People do little drive-bys. They go there and then they come this way and then they go that way. Welcome to living the aquascape lifestyle. All right, are we ready to do this, Aveline? We're ready. Let's hear what Chris says about our stops today. All right, fine guys, so Bernie Voigt, um, very, very nice guy down in Manuka. He's a retired crane operator. Cool. Um, and he is also an avid cyclist. He's very, very in shape. He, you would think he was a Marine, the way he dresses and the state of cleanliness of his house, of him, <laughs> his haircut even. That's exciting. I love it. So we're out vlogging in Chicagoland today. I asked Chris to put together a little vlog tour and uh, give me a little audio so we are about to see some beautiful aquascape ecosystem ponds in the chicagoland area it's going to be a fun day isn't it it's going to be great how you know you're in central illinois manuka this is the downtown with corn cribs there <laughs> well your house was easy to find i was looking for addresses and then boom so you're bernie huh i'm the pond guy welcome to our house chris told me and i could see already that you were a meticulous guy Somewhat. So is this the routine out here with a cup of coffee? Yeah, pretty much. You got the sunshade, that looks nice. Yeah, thank you. So is this year two for this? No, they just put it in in November. Bernie, nice meeting you. Thank you, sir. You said you had a nice marine-like haircut. Oh, yeah. Well, my barber was in the Army. So this is Aveline. Hi, Aveline. Nice to meet you. We're doing our tour today, and you're the first stop all the way down here in Manuka. How long have you been here? 31 years. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So how did this whole thing come about? You know, I originally had that wall going all the way around, and I had a standalone fountain. Okay. So you already had a little bit of water. I was looking online, and I wanted something different, and everyone I looked at, I liked, was from Aquascape. Okay. So I gave you guys a call. I had no idea what he was going to do. I just knew I wanted three spears, which is what they did. I sat here for months trying to figure out what you're going to do. <laughs> it looks nothing. Like it's what you envisioned? Like what I envisioned. But it's good, right? Oh, I love it. Okay. I mean, we love it. People do little drive-bys. They go there, and then they come this way, and then they go that way. But you not just got the fountain that replaced the small one, but you also got a pond in the backyard? Put a pond in at the same time. Cool. Yeah, came out great. Let's go check it out. Oh, beautiful yard. Look at the flowers. Holy cow. Well, I guess you are retired, Bernie. Beautiful. <laughs> it's maintenance free practice. And then you must fertilize them. Once a week. Yeah. Every day water. How did the pond come around then? I love the little seating area right here. Never used the hot tub. Oh, look at this. I understand that the water feature in the front because you had an existing fountain. Right. And then you had a hot tub here you didn't use. So was this added after they were doing the fountain? This was first. And then I got to thinking, boy, it'd be nice to have something out in front. You were thinking, I just got to replace the hot tub with something. And that's why you started looking at ponds or what? Right. I started looking at images on Google. And it, all the ones I liked were aquascape. So I called them up. Brian came out. We designed something. And then about a week later, I said, let's do something in the front, too, since I got you out here. Okay. And I sat here for weeks trying to figure out what this was going to look like. And 
in my mind it didn't look like this and this is fantastic so you just trust yeah. the process because yeah. you'd seen the other work that brian had done and you yeah. said okay yeah. you had a budget you worked with the budget and then it looks like you're a gardener it's therapy isn't it yeah, i love it and then he did a lot of slate work up here he did because i'm at a delicate age and i gotta have a stair to go down into it oh i see that so this is what they did so they built some in fact i am going to do that right now it is a hot day oh yeah cool the dogs off this is nice <laughs> oh yeah yeah, they're coming up. Look at that. And those are new fish too. You just put them in the spring, huh? Got them at the end of May. Nice. So they've been in here for a couple of months and those are happy, healthy fish right there eating the koi crunchy. <laughs> and you said that's where you take your afternoon naps in retirement and uh, it's... Not right there. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Just enhance my afternoon napping experience by half hour. <laughs> there you go. Get an aquascape water feature and sleep longer. So Bernie, what was the construction process like watching these guys do their work? It was fun. The only thing that I was kind of disappointed in is I couldn't help. Ah. <laughs> you know, I want to help. How long was the process? Four days. Okay, so both projects in four days. Front and back. Pretty impressive. People go out of town for a week, they come back, it looks completely different. And this was all done by hand. Right. Because hard to get access to so yep Look at this garden. Bernie did these himself, these little uh, fountains back here. There's a dove flying around, and uh, he just wanted to aquascape to hire on something bigger. But look at the gardens. I mean, this man is immaculate, just like Chris said in his intro to him. I'm gonna show you this beautiful garden. I just love it. The black-eyed Susans, purple loose strife, hydrangeas, roses, garden statue, in the shade from this pin oak. You got all sorts of hostas, another fountain that Bernie did, and then these amazing container gardens. Just incredible, and look at this. He's lived here for 31 years. I mean, look at the size of that container plant. It's about as big as I've ever seen in my entire life. Properly hidden biofalls, you don't see it. The landscaping is immaculate. It softens everything up. And the fact that this is the first season landscape, that's the most amazing. I love the Japanese maple up on top. Gorgeous. Where did you get your extensive horticultural green thumb? I mean, you were a crane operator. Yeah, I don't know. I put stuff in and if it doesn't work and dies, I take it out and put something else in. So not very complicated. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's not rocket science. It is as impressive as I've ever seen. It's a beautiful garden, buddy. Thank you so much. The birds really love that fountain in the back, huh? They do, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, everything. Yes, of course it is. So you got the ion gen system, which helps with the string algae. It's on level one. There's not much string algae. The auto doser here that pumps and the light hubs, everything here. Boy, that's pretty slick, buddy. He even took, took the stump and made it into a table right here by attaching it to the umbrella. Oh, look at that. Can I open this? Yeah. Listen to this sound. Not even a year old. All right, this is the other hobby. Biking, huh? Biking hobby. So you do 50 miles a day on this thing? I try to, yeah. Wow. Yeah, pretty constant, pretty consistent. Do you go with a group? You know, on Sundays I do sometimes, but basically it's by myself. It's, uh... So this bike is carbon fiber, and I thought, oh, 18 pounds, you said no. 14.7. <laughs> 14.7 and you could probably take that bike and build that fountainscape in the front. It's pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> That's why I didn't get a new one this year. <laughs> you got the fountain, you invested in the fountainscape. What was the investment for the two projects? 50 grand. For the front and the back? Yeah, 20, the back was 30. Was it a good investment? Oh yeah, yeah, I got my money out of it. And your girlfriend likes it? Oh, she loves it. And her grandkids love it? Everybody loves it. The neighbors love it. Well, I could imagine, I look at this. friends that I want. <laughs> you want to up the neighbors, you know, start, get rid of the green grass and put in a fountainscape like this. What a beautiful neighborhood, but it never gets old for me visiting 
people that are having living the aquascape lifestyle because it changes how they use the space. And this is a gardener, an amazing gardener, but he's got a big statement that he makes with his fountainscape and then the beautiful backyard where he says he gets to sleep an extra half an hour every single day because of the sound of that water feature. If so the last project last year that the guys built was this one. It was the end of December, like December 19th, I think they put this in for Hot Tub Tony's, just a fountainscape right at the entrance to his place so that everybody driving down that road, including us in the YouTube van, could uh, kind of set off his place. So stacked urn fountainscape right in the front of Hot Tub Tony's here. And it's fun for me driving down the road to see public displays of water features, especially ponds done right because that inspires more people to live the aquascape lifestyle and especially at a place like Hot Tub Tony's.